Chancellor Wiener, Chairman Hébert, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families and friends, I'm pleased to address you all on behalf of the graduating students. Aujourd'hui marque la fin d'un chapitre. I first want to say I'm humbled to give this speech. It's a great honor to speak on behalf of all of you talented set of individuals. I want to start with a little bit about myself and then go into my thanks to everyone. Um, so this journey in university actually started somewhat roughly. I actually started my university, university career at another English university down the street, in Montreal, of course, uh, studying at another discipline. But after three semesters, as well as getting a zero on a test and realizing I didn't care about it, uh, I decided I had enough and barely scraped by and got into software engineering at Concordia. Um, I chose Concordia because I wanted a more applied approach to education and I got a little more than that. So all of us have had a lot of late nights and a few close calls. We've had moments where we've been unsure of our life decisions. We've had regrets, big and small. But that's part of life. I believe that these are tests of characters and opportunities for growth rather than reasons for suffering. I think it's important that we be grateful for our education at Concordia. Of course, we all know there was a lot of self-learning. But this only taught us to be much more independent and how, to, and how to believe in ourselves. We need to be able to learn effectively and think critically in order to solve the real problems that, that are out there in the real world. We're the future, and it's still quite unsure as to whether we're going to make a positive or negative influence on the world. We should try to make the world a better place in honor of those people who have supported us, as well as in honor of ourselves. I do believe that everyone has something to offer to the world. We simply need to apply it. This may be difficult because we're all afraid of ridicule, failing, and embarrassment. But these things are going to happen anyway. We know this. Why not try to make a difference with your gift? I also want to thank all the moms and dads, the grandparents, aunts and uncles, as well as the family, as well as other family. Whether they financed your education, made sure you had a lunch every day, or just tolerated your cranky behavior during finals, I want to thank them for supporting us along this journey. I've seen families go through a lot of heartbreak in the last year, um, mine included, but I've only also seen the adversity that they faced and how they got through it. I've seen how the resilience of the human spirit allows you to get through anything. I'm not even considering what they've done for us in university. I'd also like to thank them a million times for all the other things that they've done for us. I also want to thank all the faculty at Concordia for their help as well. We were fortunate enough to have a lot of professors that actually cared about our learning. I think that each student had a few professors that they really looked up to. These are the ones that helped us just, uh, explore different points of view, different perspectives. I remember a handful of my professors whose energy and passion for their craft actually allowed me to understand people better as well as how to think more effectively. Um, they also allowed me to understand the social aspects of a problem. We're so stuck on the details in engineering that sometimes we forget that the, the problems we're solving revolve around people first and techniques or technology second. I learned that one could do good while doing well, so this is a trade-off we don't actually have to make. There's also other staff, non-academic staff, that really opened my eyes, especially when my confidence was quite low. They showed us that we could do more than just study and apply concepts. They gave us the freedom to make mistakes and discover who we are and understand our true potential. They also showed us that we can give back to Concordia at events such as the Open House, and that we could be trusted with our passion and energy to actually make Concordia a better place and to recruit new students, things of that nature. I'm also intensely grateful for the people who actually accept me for who I am, even through my darkest moments. <coughs> I hope you all are as well. These are the people that love for you for you. I call them the gifts from God. You know exactly who you are. The love that I receive from these people makes my life infinitely more meaningful, and I feel like the luckiest man in the world. Aside from graduating from university, we need to be grateful for all that is given to us and all that we can have. The story isn't over. In fact, graduating from university is just another chapter that's over. It's a wonderful accomplishment that you should be proud of, but there's much more to come. There will be moments of heartbreak along the way. It's not all fairy tales and things of that nature, but you can still pursue your wealth, whatever that means to you. It may be money, fame, or some would say even just collecting Japanese cars. What matters to you, or what matters is that you become the person that you were meant to become, and no one else. Live up to your own standard. This is what I believe we're all meant to do. Living up to your full potential and building your ideal life is an exciting journey. Although a scary one, an exciting journey. Fellow graduates, I wish you a wonderful life of abundance. Take advantage of every single opportunity and remember that you deserve success. 
When you feel the fear, do what you wanted to do anyway. It might just pay off. When you can, give back to the people who need it most and those who helped you along the way. And we'll leave this world a better place. Thank you. Mr. Patel, I want to thank you for your heartwarming and illuminating remarks. I think it was uh, uh, inspiring, and we appreciate it. Thank you very much.